Look what came in the mail today. Right here. Build plate for the Bamboo Lab X1C, P1P and P1S. G10 material, Carolite. I already took that out of the box because it's a pain to take stuff out of a box with one hand holding a phone. So here it is. Looks great. He even has a little QR code for automatic uh, build plate detection. Uh, here you can see the, the Garolite or the G10 coating. It's uh, on a spring sh steel sheet. So yeah, can't wait to test this one out. Okay, let's try it out. Just washed it with hot water and dish soap. I'm going to spray some IPA on it to make it really clean. And then start the first print with the Lightyear G10 or Garolite build plate. It leaves some weird marks if you clean it, so don't know what this is actually. Let's spray it again and see if we can get rid of that mark. Oh, still has some marks. Okay, we'll be fine. Let's test it. Print is done. Okay, everything sticks nicely to the plate. No issues whatsoever. I had to wait until the plate was completely cool because the plate is not that flexible, so you cannot bend it to release the parts. No, okay. Let's see if we can take the parts off. They stick a bit, but okay. They come loose quite easily once you get the nail under it. It's not. Yeah, uh, they come quite easily loose. So that's great. Okay, there will be some work to get them off, but yeah, one thing I noticed about uh, the G10. Aerolite plate by Lightyear is it's quite a heavy plate and it's not bendable like a PEI sheet on a spring steel although it's also on a spring steel but the coating I guess is a little bit more uh, robust not that elastic so yeah you cannot bend the plate to pop off the prints easily so yeah you have to use a scraper of some sort but yeah good bad adhesion, adhesion and uh, a good first print you see a sneak preview of the next model by the way so yeah I'll keep you posted